for a Saturday game with a try and a good 5-1 win against Brickfield. What's your thoughts on this afternoon's game, uh, Craig? Yeah, you know, obviously... We looked at the fixtures this month. I said it last week, you know, leagues are bread and butter. And we looked at this month's fixtures and we've got some big games coming up. And, and today was the start of that run for us. Um, we're determined to to be focused now to, to to build the momentum in the league. And as we keep saying, you know, that's what that's what we want to achieve. We want to win this league and, and we want to get promoted at the first time of asking. It's not going to be easy. Um, played against a young, enthusiastic um, Brickfield side today who worked extremely hard at times, um, made it difficult. But, you know, the lads were incredibly good um, in large spells of the game. You know, I thought we'd, we'd moved the ball really well with patience, made the right decisions. There was moments where we still need to improve. You know, obviously conceding the goal was disappointing, especially from a set piece. You know, we should be having someone on the edge of the box and we'll learn from that and make sure we, we improve and, and take it into next week's game. But on the whole, it was a great performance. Nice to see some good goals and um, it's three points on the board. Three points and three goals for Marcus Banks as well. A great performance. Yeah, you know what? You know, the reason I signed Marcus was because I said at the start, you know, that he's a fantastic player. Um, got so much ability. It's unbelievable, really. And if he takes himself seriously, which he is doing, um, it, he'll keep performing like that week in, week out because he's so natural. Um, he's had a spell out injury, injury-wise with his, with his thigh and the futsal camp has has helped that with his recovery um, he, he's got minutes in there and, and fitness up and he come back he's had 45 minutes he's had 90 last week and 90 again today well 80 sort of 5, 9 85 minutes at the end there because he deserved the round of applause for his hat-trick but Marcus is definitely one to watch for the future he's, he's an outstanding player as well a couple of reserves having a, a ch first chance in the first team as well yeah you know obviously we've still got a few absentees you know Dewey was missing today um, Jamie McDade's still struggling with his injury um, so it's important that the reserves, that's what they're there for, you know, Aaron's been great, all the reserves have been great, they train with us regularly, so, you know, it's, it's for them to step into this environment, it's a great opportunity for them, and every single one of them that has, they've they've done well, so, um, you know, we're pleased with that. What do you take away from today's results for next week's game, Craig? Uh, three points, goals, confidence, and um, momentum. It's the start of momentum now, we go to St Asif next week, um, on the road, we look to... to start that game as we finish this game with high tempo, you know, intensity and desire and, and aggression to go and win games and that's that's what we want to do this season. Dio Craig. Dale Dale.